Hello, I'm going to show you how to make Waffle House hash browns at home. Uh, the key is this stuff right here, Whirl. It is premium butter flavored oil with artificial flavor. <laughs> and we couldn't find anything uh, but this one gallon container. But uh, if you get into this, you're going to need it. Uh, so we have this little squirt container with Whirl in it just to make it easier to put in the pan. Uh, over here, we've got uh, some dehydrated potatoes, hash brown potatoes that are rehydrating. Uh, the, the instructions say 12 minutes, but don't go 12 minutes. I would go 10 minutes. And the other thing that I did wrong in the past is I used boiled water. You don't need water nearly that hot. Just whatever is the hottest water coming out of your tap, you just uh, cover it uh, with, with that temperature of water and uh, go 10 minutes, not 12. Uh, so we're about one and a half minutes away from needing to put this stuff on the pan. So now's the time I'm going to turn this on. And I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blast it. I'm really using some high heat right here. This uh, whirl can take, can take the high heat. It's not going to flame up on you or anything like that. Uh, I've got right over here, I've got some shredded cheese ready to go for the cheese. You know, if you want it chunked and all that jazz, that's up to you. But uh, I just do the cheese. So I'm going to get the pan good and hot uh, before I put the whirl in it. Um, I'm not going to run the, the, the exhaust fan. If you do it right, it shouldn't smoke, but uh, I usually do run the exhaust fan when I'm making this because I've really got the heat pretty high and I have had the smoke alarm go off, but I, I think that was when I didn't know what I was doing and I didn't have enough whirl uh, in, the, in the pan and it was, it was almost burning. So uh, i got about 30 seconds before I'm ready to deal with this stuff here. And so I'm going to turn the timer off. So I'm just going to drain if there's any water uh, excess water, just make sure you drain it out. Um, I used to go to the trouble of putting it on a paper towel to get it even drier, but dry or wet hash browns was not my problem. It was no whirl. Whirl is the key. So I think this pan is pretty, plenty hot. And so watch how much whirl I put in here. You may think it's a ridiculous amount, but uh, don't skimp on it. And if you watch them in, in a Waffle House, they put quite a bit of oil on their grill when they're making the hash browns. So I'm going to, I want to spread the hash browns out as much as I possibly can. But as you can see, I mean, there's, there's a lot of whirl in the, in the corner there. But the idea is you're basically uh, deep frying in this whirl. So uh, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna, if it sizzles when I put it on, I got the temperature right. Beautiful. I'm going to spread this out. This is usually, this is less than I usually do. This is like for one person. Uh, but the thinner you make it, the quicker it'll cook. Um, that's probably a little high, but turn it down just a little bit. But, and from here, it's just, uh, it's somewhat guesswork. I mean, uh, you want to keep an eye on it, and when it looks like it's brown, you flip it. Um, and, and cook it on the other side for a little while. Um, but here's the other thing that you'll see them do at Waffle House. While this is cooking, they put more whirl on top. And that's to get, make sure there's plenty of whirl on the potatoes and also there'll be some whirl on that side when you flip it over. Uh, it's going to soak up all this whirl. And uh, hey, if you're worried about the calories, you're making the wrong food. Uh, I, I really don't think the whirl is, is huge in calories, but uh, I don't care. So I'm uh, just going to kind of let it get happy. Um, you'll, you'll, you'll see when they make over, over easy eggs, uh, they put some oil in their pan. They're putting whirl in there. And that's what I've been using from uh, now on with uh, over easy eggs. Make it nice and slippery. Um, so I mean, don't want them too crispy. You can see around the edge right here, these on the very, very edge are getting really brown. They're kind of off by themselves, so, but that does mean it's getting close to time to flip it. I'm going to turn down the heat just a little bit. See, I mean, there's no recipe. Uh, it, it's not a recipe. It's a, a labor of love. <laughs> you just got to try different things. Uh, I think these hash browns are ready to flip. 
we'll see when uh, I flip them over. They look, they look pretty good to me. I think we're in pretty good shape on that. You know, and you have to decide, you want them really crispy, cook them longer. If you don't like them that crispy, cook them less. Um, but what I would not do, I would not put the cheese on there while the heat is on, because it's so hot. If you put the cheese on right now, it just will melt into the pan. Uh, and so, you'll see what they do at Waffle House. They put a slice of cheese on top of the hash browns, pretty much when they're done cooking. Uh, and so that's kind of what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to let this cook just a few more seconds and then turn the heat off. And that's when I'm going to put the cheese on there. And you'll see that it melts the cheese beautifully. No pan, no, no cover on the top or anything. Um, obviously, the more hash browns you have, the longer you're going to have to cook to get them all done. Uh, I don't usually make this few, so uh, this is going quicker than normal. So I think, I think it's ready. Um, it's a total guessing game. Um, I'm gonna turn it off. And then, you know, if you don't have shredded cheese, you just put pieces of cheese on there. That, that works okay, but shredded is ideal. I may have overdone it on the cheese, but. And that's it, so. We're going to pause, and I'm going to make my eggs and the toast. We're going to pause, and then we're going to come back uh, and see what it tastes like. I can't put it on video, but I can tell you what it tastes like. So, all right. I'm rolling. So this is the finished breakfast. Check out these over easy eggs. Not bad. This is some uh, hot hot spice that I put on the over easy eggs. Waffle House will put your toast on this plate and the sausage on that plate. Well, that's not how I do it. I flip them, man. And so this is the way I like it. So let's just see. Probably a little too much cheese for the number of potatoes I had. Um, is this stuff any good? Mm. Just a little bit crunchy. So good. The whirl. Is the key. You don't have to have a Waffle House coffee mug, but it does help. So, good luck.